Buxton is one of the three areas identified under the Rural Agricultural Infrastructure Development, also referred to as the RAID project, where agriculture infrastructure has been upgraded. This project has been encouraging former farmers to return to the land. Minister of Finance Winston Jordan on Wednesday visited farmlands of several of these farmers. Patrick Howard has been farming since the days of his youth, but was forced to abandon his five acres of land. He has since returned and is seeing the fruits of his labor. I was wait waiting for this opportunity a very long time because um, he's no going to really prove himself as a farmer. Randy Benjamin was already farming when the raid project took effect in the community. When they came here, they reached me here, planting. I plant this place between rain and sun. In anything you're doing, you must have a little difficulties, and you more, when you have the, when the difficulty arrive, you ask for a little advice. You understand? But Nari is trying to work along with us presently now, and we're thankful for the little assistance. The RAID project focuses on many aspects of infrastructural development for agriculture. This is one of the ways the government is trying to boost the agriculture potential of the country. Agriculture has money. Uh, and, and, and result in sustainable living. And so this is part of the whole process of getting uh, back African guy needs back to uh, farming and uh, sustainable living and the whole process that we have in mind of diversifying the economy. All right, um, agriculture has the capacity to absorb large numbers of people. It is perhaps the only uh, sector in the economy that has that capacity to absorb a large number of people while providing uh, food, employment, income, and, and foreign exchange, and so forth. So we can't go wrong uh, focusing on agriculture. As Raid wraps up, Minister Jordan hinted that a similar intervention may be taken to other communities to tap into the vast agricultural potential that exists. For Info Hub, Delicia Haynes.